you find yourselves getting ready to go to a comic book convention and being all excited about it. What an awesome experience it is to be able to attend a comic book convention. Even if it's a small convention to a larger convention, to one of the biggest in the world, like the San Diego Comic-Con. Well, I've been attending Comic-Con since the early 90s. Ah. There's a convention. Ah. It's grown each and every year to a totally new level of entertainment totally new level of experience for people and it's incredible to be witness to many of the different things that the convention itself has been able to provide and bring to its many fans i get the joy of seeing many fans express themselves and feel as if they have a place they belong and they can go to to be amongst their peers and to have fun and the marvel booth always collects a lot of people in it here uh they've got some folks signing up on stage something going on for spider-man with their peers whether they're just talking about uh, comic books, movies, video games, um, art collecting, um, just collecting in general. They're just having a ton of fun. If they're cosplaying, it, I've seen many, many, many different uh, cosplayers emerge over the years as well. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to take some socks. These are just some um, knee high, they're inside out at the moment, gray socks that I have with stripes on them. It really doesn't matter what kind of socks you have, doesn't matter how big or how small they are. But what I'm going to do is take them and fold them and I'm going to put them inside my bra on the outside. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the difference, but you can definitely feel the difference. It makes your boobs like rock hard. Uh, basically, I could go jogging in this and not need to worry about them jiggling all up in my face. Like up here, the cleavage is still going to move, but they're basically not going anywhere. I recall when my daughter, my own daughter, the oldest, she's 24 now, she started attending the Comic Cons when my wife was pregnant back in 1995. And she's now... 24 almost 25 years old so i've been going to conventions even before she was born so it's been a great experience it's been an honor uh to have been a part of uh the early 90s As conventions are a great place where people from all over the world have a lot of fun and look forward to expressing themselves and being themselves for the weekend, whether it's just walking around and checking out the different booths that are available, uh, to collecting all the fun action figures, collecting all the freebies that all of the major companies offer, to checking out the exhibits, the booths. The convention center also hosts a lot of panels. People don't know this, but Jim and I came into the industry about the same time. It, you gotta be able to pencil, you gotta be able to draw a figure, but you gotta tell a story. Yep. Panels are specifically for those fans who wanna listen to what their interests are in terms of the their favorite um, artist, their favorite inker, their favorite colorists their favorite computer colorists 
um, because of the content that the actual professionals provide. Jim Lee, when he does a panel, he usually draws in front of you. And what's really cool, sometimes he gives away that drawing or he auctions it off the drawing that he did during that panel. Uh, I know that um, many other artists do the same. It's, it's become more interactive where the crowd is going back and forth uh, a asking questions as the artists draw. So as a publisher, I will tell you right now that I find the vast majority of my talent on Instagram, on ArtStation. I'm combing through it constantly. In fact, I've had the good fortune of collaborating with um, Kim jong Gi, and that's exactly how I found him. I saw him on One thing to keep in mind is if you're going to be collecting items is to think about, okay, if I'm gonna get posters, I need a something to put them in. I need a tube. Now, many, um, different exhibitors do offer poster carriers, the tubes or the cardboards. Uh, but if you have your own, bring it. It saves you some money. Obviously, if you have your own comic book uh, carrying box or if you have a cool backpack uh, that meets your needs to keep them all safe, I would encourage you to do that because a lot of people either plan or don't plan to have their stuff signed and sometimes there's an artist that's open and you can boom rush into their to their table and they're willing to sign all your stuff at times and sometimes if they have a huge line they only allow you to sign maybe one or two things uh, but uh, the other thing is that some uh, artists um, who have been who have made it to the VIP ranks do charge for a signature, and it's not so much money. I mean, it, it it's relative. Like a Neil Adams, he can charge either uh, ten to fifty dollars. I I believe something like that. I think Jim Lee offers a similar range. Maybe it's more now. I know wills for him to sign a certain comic book if they're rare um he will charge a certain amount for it as well so again uh plan 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 if you plan and you look at these cool sites on the web a disclosure i'm not being sponsored by conventionscene.com or anything like that i just actually want you to take a look and see that you can find the list of Comic-Con conventions that are happening uh, throughout the world, actually. It's not just the United States, but it has the country on there. So, and also, if you press the link, it'll take you to a specific uh, conventions website, which gives you a ton of information. For example, there it is any link you click it's going to tell you who the guests are and give you uh, all the information that is pertinent to making your convention stay and your visit a lot easier and a lot better so please uh, go on there and check it out and um, do your homework and uh, plan to have a great and fantastic time at the conventions I promise you, you're going to have an awesome experience. Plan to get tired <laughs> a little bit, but you'll make it. Make sure you bring uh, some ibuprofen <laughs> if needed, because you don't think you're doing a lot of walking, but after one day, you're going to start getting sore and getting some cramps, etc. So take care of yourself. And... If you do, you're going to have a lot more fun at these conventions. I've been doing it for over 25 years, and it's been a blast, and I will continue to attend these conventions. I plan to do more around the world, actually. Um, I, that's my goal, is to attend more conventions and uh, meet more people. Happy convention going. This has been Joe Dozer 
your friendly superhero with another episode here at 5J Collectibles. Peace out. Adios.